This is your test assembly on for the shielded metlac welding. Okay. There's two stop and starts required here. There's two methods of doing the stop and starts. Both are acceptable. Okay. The one we're going to do today, you're going to make a start on the square side. You're right-handed, right? Right-handed. Right -handed. So we're going to go left or right. You're going to make a stop right here on the fillet weld side. Keep the fillet weld maximum eight millimeters, equal leg. Okay. okay. You're going to make one stop right here yeah. on the fillet weld. Then you're going to make another stop on the bevel side right here. Okay. Then I'm going to check your profile, the weld profile. If they're acceptable, then you will start where you start and complete both welds. Okay. The other method is you would weld a fillet weld, make one stop, I would check your profile, then I would tell you to start again, providing the profile is acceptable, and complete the fillet weld. Okay. Then you would do the same thing well, with the, the bevel side. Okay? Yep. Okay, Ron, the markings you see on the test assembly here, yep. the first one is the CWB logo, the second one is the position of welding, one for flat, the second set H for my identification, the certification rep, and three for your identification. Okay. The numbers on the bottom of the coupons, one, two, and three. One and three are root bands, and number two is a face band. Odd numbers always being root bands, even numbers always being face bands. Okay, Juan, okay, now you're all set. Okay. Yeah. Let's go get the electrodes. <coughs> what you're going to be using today are the low hydrogen electrodes. Uh, it must be certified by CWB and stored in an oven, 120 degrees Celsius to 250 Fahrenheit or 250 Fahrenheit or higher, 3.2 or 1.8 diameter. Okay. Okay. You got nice clean gloves on. Get yourself. Yep. Get yourself some electrodes. We're going to do a flux core arc welding. Uh, welder qualification today, Ron, okay. and uh, it's, a, it's a good idea to check all the areas that, that may be potential problems for you during welding, okay. like your cable connections, make sure they're tight, solid, uh, the insulation on the cables, check it, make sure it's clean, no cuts, your ground connection, yep. make sure it's solid and a clean connection, uh, your own personal safety equipment, you know, you've got a welding jacket on, you've got your glasses, <clears throat> you've got the proper lens and the helmet, yeah, and the clear lenses, you've got clean gloves, you've got safety shoes and so on. And your welding parameters. I mean, you set your welding parameters, uh, get a piece of scrap material, run a few beads, make sure you're comfortable with your welding parameters. Definitely. And uh, your electrode size is correct, your shielding gas is correct. Double check to make sure you're getting uh, the proper gas flow, you know, and you can set properly. Yep. And uh, let me see the gun for a second one. Okay. It's also a good idea to make sure you check uh, the nozzle, the contact tip, the mixer, and the liner to make sure they're all clean and all the proper dimensions required for this particular gun. Okay. And uh, the contact tip should be the proper distance inside the nozzle. It's very important. You got it. And you've already checked your, you've got the proper electrode diameter wire inside there That's and cool, yeah. everything's fine. Yeah. Okay. We're ready to go. I'll just go get your, uh, your test plate. Okay? Thank you. We'll be back in a sec. Here we go, Ron. This is your test plate. You're going to weld... Well, let me explain this first. You've got the CWB logo here. Okay. The next digit 1 is for the position, which is flat. The H is my identification, and the 1 is your identification number. Okay. All the welders get a number, okay? And the specimens are numbered 1, 2, and 3. What we're going to do here we're going to cut these little coupons three eighths wide, three of them. They're going to be a side band. There's going to be one stop and restart required on the fillet weld side, right here on the middle. It's not a bad idea to put something over the stop location so you don't miss it. Okay. Because if you miss the stop location, then I have to restamp the coupon again. Understand? Yep. So your fillet weld should be maximum eight millimeters or five sixteenths leg size. Any questions? Uh, no. You all set to go? All set to go. Okay.